Is it definite, Sarah, that we will end up with an early election in Spain? It's certainly what all the uh, newspapers and televisions here are expecting. Uh, the, there was one socialist uh, spokesperson who has told reporters uh, that they can expect news soon. Many people are taking that to mean uh, that Pedro Sanchez, the socialist prime minister, could even set the date as early as today. We certainly don't know whether that uh, would uh, happen. Uh, in theory, there is a hung parliament, as we can see. The Pedro Sanchez uh, was brought into power. In in June, uh, thanks to the help of smaller parties like the Catalan Nationalist parties, he needs them to be able to defeat uh, the negative votes that we're expecting from the People's Party, which has 137 seats, and uh, the Citizens Party, uh, which would also uh, likely vote down this budget. Uh, Pedro Sanchez uh, can only really count on his 84 seats, uh, plus perhaps uh, Podemos. He looks in a very difficult position, and the Debates are going on in the parliament at the moment. We've seen a few voices, even from Basque nationalists, calling on the Catalan nationalists to, to vote for that budget. Uh, they say uh, they've got to be realistic about what the limits are of the deal making because uh, the socialist government has said uh, there is no question of talking about a referendum uh, on the northeastern region of Catalonia breaking away from the rest of Spain. That's against the constitution and it, it won't be happening. Uh, it looks as if the Catalan nationalists, for the moment, sticking to their guns. Now, Sarah, this, of course, comes as there is that highly sensitive case at the Spanish Supreme Court right now with 12 Catalan separatists on trial linked to Catalonia's failed independence bid. What's the latest on that? That's right. Well, this morning, the preliminary uh, questions fell to the uh, uh, prosecutors, and they uh, began, the lawyer Javier Zaragoza began answering for the prosecution, those allegations made yesterday uh, by the defence lawyers. The defence lawyers had said that this was a political trial and that virtually all the fundamental rights of their clients had been broken, that those clients only wanted to organise a referendum, only wanted to give people uh, the right to vote. Well, the defence lawyer said, uh, the prosecutor said that uh, he had actually, those independence leaders had breached the rights of other Catalans who did not want to vote and had signed up to the Constitution, that this was an attack on the Constitution and they had systematically ignored rulings from uh, Spain's top court. He, he also said uh, that those leaders were very irresponsible uh, to send masses of people out onto the uh, street. Uh, to stop the police looking for those ballot boxes. And he said uh, that their uh, use of uh, people as human walls would inevitably have caused uh, clashes with the police. Uh, those uh, um, uh, speeches will go on today uh, in a, a trial which we expect uh, to last for about three months. Sarah, thank you for that. That's Sarah Morris. They're reporting for us from Madrid.